Welcome back to Loving. Welcome back to Loving Living Local, everyone. Okay, so coming up Labor Day weekend, a holiday. Meat is on most of your plates, more than likely to celebrate and to get out on the grill to cook up some food. And Krista Widiak has been live all morning at Ranch Foods Direct, who knows exactly how to make that poultry. All that. Did you meat shut that, that off? Perfect. So let's toss perfect. back over to Krista. So let's toss back over to Krista. You know what, Kenny? You nailed it on the head. Labor Day is coming up, and where you can get your meats for when you're going grilling out is Ranch Food Directs, because I told you earlier, it doesn't get fresher than this. I'm joined now with rancher and owner of himself, Mike. How are you? Thanks for coming back out here. I'm good. So, good. we are now back here where the magic happens, and like I said, it doesn't get fresher than this. Well, this is where the skilled cutters work. Yeah. You know, we have, what do we have, nine guys in the room right now. They're, they've been cutting beef all morning. They're getting ready to start on our hog carcasses wow. uh, that, that, that come from our own ranch. But this is, this is a, a trade. Cutting meat is a skill. It's an art. It's a trade that we've lost because the big meat packers depend on inexperienced workers that do one thing all day long, and that's it. And they really you can, they can learn their job in a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, these guys here literally know how to break down a carcass all the way into that final cut that's in the retail store. Yeah. Whether it's a sirloin steak, a ribeye, a pound of ground beef, these guys are amazing. They and and we, we treat them very well and very appreciative of, of the work that they do. Absolutely. Especially when it comes, I mean, you'd be snipping some fingers if you're not careful. Well, there's sharp stuff. There's, <laughs> there's grinders, there's saws, there's knives, and, and, and they do. They need to learn how to be safe. And, and they need to know how to how to really do their job. And once they learn, and then they get fast, they get faster. And these guys are far, far more efficient at cutting up a carcass than the big plants are. Oh yeah. Our guys will, uh, at, at, the, at the slaughter side at the ranch, our guys can do about four animals per man per day. The biggest meat packers can only get 1.6. Whoa. And they don't cut to final retail. We cut to final retail, so we skip that whole piece in the middle where they box the beef and ship it out all over the country. Our carcasses age a sufficient amount of time to where we get the food safety benefit of dry aging, and then we cut directly into the end product, whether it's retail or a cut that goes to a restaurant, yeah. uh, one, of our, one of our restaurant customers. So far more efficient system. So you don't want to let the big industrial system tell you that they're efficient because they are not efficient. So besides just efficiency with going to with shopping with big retailers, what is the benefit to shopping local, especially with Ranch Food Direct? Well, you know, there's a lot of wealth created in, in agriculture, yeah. and particularly around livestock production. Cows eat things we can't eat, so they're eating grass and forages and different things. They're turning that into some seriously highly nutritious food that we can eat. Yeah. And, and so if you shop local, more of those dollars that are created from the land and through the livestock end up in the rural community. Yeah. They end up here in Colorado Springs with living wages for, for guys that are really good at what they do at cutting meat. It, 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 it yeah. benefits the, the community in a huge way. The, the, big, the big industrial model extracts wealth. The small local, small business model yeah. creates wealth, but the key is the wealth stays in the community. And then you staying in the community as possible. You guys have two stores here that people can come and shop at. How can they get out there? Well, we, we've got a, a store near our original location over at 1228 East Fillmore yeah. that, that's open from 8 o'clock every morning till till 6 o'clock. And on Saturdays, it's 8 to 5 during during the fall and winter months. Yeah. Uh, and then we have this uh, store right here in the place that we're standing where people can come in, get a tour, they can see the carcasses, but we also have a retail store here at this location. Well, I'm like, I love it here. I mean, you guys do some great work locally. Kenny, I don't know about you, but I think I should be bringing some of these back and go grill with you because Mike knows what he's talking about. He's got the meats, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> he has the meats, that is true. Okay, Chris, I do have to ask you, how do you like your steak cooked? Medium, rare. No, medium. Just medium. I don't like. I like it just pink. Medium? I don't like the blood. I don't, I'm not a fan of the blood. Medium. Okay, okay. So it's nice and warm like on the inside. Rare. Wait, Mike, how do you like your steak? Medium rare. Oh, he likes the medium rare yes. too. Yeah. But you're there not you really go. seeing the blood. Medium you're seeing the juices. Okay. So oh, there's no. You don't see any blood yeah, here, right? Absolutely. You're seeing there's all no that blood in this room. Kind of there's no blood. It's the juices through. that are in the meat. And well, that's where the nutrition here, is. You want juice. those juices. Medium rare is better. 
Medium rare. Is, she says medium rare is better. Medium I like rare. Medium. We'll let you decide. Medium rare. <laughs> medium rare. Medium rare. Medium rare. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. We're going to continue <laughs> talking meat. It's just the meat show today. We're going to continue.